The fastest way to build a business online and to have a new income stream is simply by finding a specific problem for specific people and solve that problem. In this video today, I will show you a real example on how you can do this easily. And I will give you my full system for free so you can try this starting from today. Not only that, by learning this strategy, you'll be able to build hundreds of different systems and start working online today. If you are ready, let's get started. Step number one is to identify the problem you want to solve. Today, in our example, we will be solving a problem for YouTubers. You know, we have thousands of YouTubers all over the world and we have one common problem all those YouTubers struggle with, which is handling comments for example this is my channel i am a youtuber and i know this every day i get tons of comments and i need a way to manage this to save time maybe there are people asking questions people asking for discounts or products reviews or maybe you want to reply with a simple thank you for a comment like this one here thank you web devsters for this comment so you want to automate the full process just imagine reaching out to a YouTuber telling him I will save you tons of hours and stress automating all the comments and providing you valuable insights from your comments. You will see how much important is this in a couple of seconds when you see the magic of the service that you will learn in this video. So step number one, identify the audience, YouTubers. The problem is automating the process of handling comments. Step number two is to solve this problem. Today we are in the AI era and the best way to solve such problems is with automation plus AI. And what's better than make this awesome no-code automation platform that will help you build automations and provide services and sell services to clients easily online. So we are going to use Make to build this automation system and sell it to any YouTuber we want. So if you are new to Make, just go create an account, get started and log in with your account. You can get started totally for free. And the good news, I have partnered with Make to give you access for free to the pro account for 30 days. You can now go join the link in the description and get free access. Anyway, log into your Make account. I will log into mine. And in the scenarios, I created this YouTube handling comments automation. Don't worry, I will give you this automation for free and show you exactly how I built it step by step in a couple of minutes. So you can do the same and build different systems. But first, let's see the power of this automation, this simple automation. I will click on run. So what's happening here is fetching my latest YouTube comments, analyzing with AI, deciding if I can reply or not, then replying and archiving in a Google Sheet. If you take a look on this Google Sheet now, I'm sure you will love the results. You will see here, I am fetching each comment and checking if this comment is good as a testimonial. Then checking the sentiment, is it positive or a negative comment? and see if it requires a reply or not the urgency can i reply with a generic reply like thank you or so it contains a question or not suggested reply with ai the language how many characters and information about the author and the video and the channel and the video id every single detail is archived in this google sheet and thank you all for these all positive comments all of them are positive comments so for example, this comment, awesome idea, great video. So the sentiment is positive and I can reply with a generic reply. Thank you for your kind words and the AI will reply. For example, this one, excellent, works well and we have some questions. So here it says we have a question, but we can't have a generic reply for this comment. So we can check it manually and so on. So you are providing this service, this automation, to YouTubers to handle their comments automatically. I still have three things to share with you today. Number one, I want to give you this system for free. Number two, I want to show you how I build it from scratch so you can build your own customized systems. And number three, I want to share with you a tip 
a secret tip really it will help you build a stable income with these systems i don't think you want to miss this so to replicate the system inside your account simply go here to scenarios inside make and click on create a new scenario so to make things simple for you just click here on these three dots and click input blueprint choose file and select the blueprint you'll find it in the description below with the full step-by-step -step guide just download it and import it inside make and boom you will have the system it's super simple by the way first we have this youtube module and you need simply to connect with your account just click here on add and sign in with your gmail or the channel account the youtube channel account then go here to open ai modules and add your own open ai key simply here add it and save it we have here the comments that returns json with these advanced prompts analyze the comments then we have another module here that will read the structured output we'll talk about this in a little bit just follow up now so we have these two open ai modules then we have a router this one will have two paths the first one is to reply to a comment if it is a comment that accepts a generic reply remember here in the spreadsheet we have this generic reply so if it's simply a comment like this one nice or awesome info best of luck your video is so helpful great information thank you so all these comments can be replied to with a generic reply thank you or so on so we will handle this automatically and reply to these comments with ai and then we will archive all the details to google sheets this way so let's scroll down and you'll see this now in action we will run it run and now if you go here to google sheets and look at this 91 is empty now it will start filling the data you see thank you hassan thank you to other comment other one you are the best thank you and so on so the scenario is working now and handles comments automatically and remember we can automate this with a schedule so for example you can set this to run every 15 minutes or once a day or once a week and so on and handle comments automatically on any youtube channel now let's build this from scratch you will see like in like two minutes you will have the system ready but this is very important if you want to build customized systems for your own clients so again i will go here to scenarios click on create a new scenario and we will start with a youtube module youtube and watch new comments and here simply as i mentioned you need to add your account in case you are not signed in yet and here there is a very important question you should ask i am providing this to my clients i don't have access to their channels so how we can authenticate with our client's channel here we have two approaches number one you can ask for permission not full permission like editor or permission to access comments or you can set up the system as a service on their own make account or we have a third tip i will mention a little bit that is a game changer in selling automation systems anyway so here we have watch comments and channel you need to uh, enter the channel id and the moderation status for published you can search for terms if you want or and you can set the limit for number of comments let's say 10 comments with each operation and now it will tell you when to start for example from now for a specific date all comments i will say going from now next after we fetch the comments from a channel we need to iterate over these comments let me show you this if we run this without anything now just run and if you go here you will see in the output we got the comments as bundles bundle one bundle two bundle three and so on so the next step is to loop iterate over each of these bundles so we are going to add a flow control iterator it simply iterates over each comment and simply select the text and the comment id so we can get both values in each iteration so we are looping let's set the iterator here we are looping next we are going to add open ai so we can analyze the comment click on create a completion and you need to 
add your OpenAI connection and here select create a chat completion select the model I will go with GPT-4 and then I'm going to add a message the first one is a system message and the second one is the user message in the system message I will tell the AI model to generate a JSON object out of the response so it will analyze the comment and then reply with this format so I can access every single value easily with this organized structured JSON structure. If you are new to prompt engineering, please check my free course here on my YouTube channel. It will help you understand how to work with AI models and get the best out of AI models. And if you are interested more in learning about this advanced techniques, you can check my full course on my website, Prompt Engineering from Zero to Scripting AI Workflows. Anyway, the second message is the analysis message. So simply here, I will tell the language model or the AI to act as an expert YouTube comment analysis. To analyze the comments, I will provide the comment as an input and it will determine the comment a positive testimonial, the sentiment, all these we assigned here. The AI model will check for it and I will pass the input YouTube comment. You can see here we can select it coming from the iterator. So for each comment now, we are running this ChatGPT module. And then let's go down and set the maximum tokens to zero so we don't have a limit on tokens. Then after that, we are going to extract the output with another OpenAI module, which is transform text to structure data. So in this way, we can read the data, the text data coming from the AI and read as a structured data. Let me show you this in the original system. If we open it, you will see here we are reading the message content from the first ChatGPT module. Then we are extracting the JSON. So here we have can be testimonial. We have then a sentiment. We have required reply. What are these parameter names? Simply it's coming from this JSON response. You can see can be testimonial sentiment requires reply so what we are doing here simply is adding these parameters and extracting them from the ai response so we can read them easily in the next modules so i will configure this the same way you just need to select the model for example gpt4 text to parse i will select here from the choices we have message content so the response of this module will be parsed and extracted using this module here and then you can add definitions add data definition and then simply select the parameter name for example here we have can be testimonial copy and simply pass it here as a parameter name and you can add description if you want data type as boolean for example if the comment can be used as testimonial and so on you fill up all the data definitions in this module now to save time i do this fast and you can see now i have all the parameters perfect i extracted them next we need to add a router so we can have two paths add a router and path one please focus here very well path one will be to save to google sheets just create or add a row and add the connection the same way and here select the spreadsheet simply go here select enter manually to enter the spreadsheet id for example here the id we can get it from the url just copy it this way and paste it here the sheet name is comments just write comments here and the column range is a to z and then simply for each column you set the value for example here in the first value we have the comment so we say text original so in this way we are adding the comment here the text of the comment then in the section or in the column b we will add can be testimonial then in c we add sentiment you can see now how easy it is to access the parameters or the structured data in d we add urgency in e we add generic reply and so on such as the reply comment language and character count for example and for j we are going to add the comment id the channel id the video id and the profile image in case you want to use the comment as a review or testimonial you will have also the picture or the profile picture of the commenter 
perfect you can add whatever data you want publish date like count whatever you want and click OK. Now, please focus on this. The second route is for replying to the comment. So I will add here YouTube and click on reply to a comment. And here we need to enter the comment ID. We have it from the iterator. We can get it. And the content is the suggested reply. You see here, we got it from the AI, but we don't want to reply to every single comment. So we are going to add a filter here, set up a filter. Let's say only generic replies and simply set the condition here that if can have generic reply is equal to true. Let's set here a Boolean operator equal to true. It is a small letter. And I will say if also the sentiment is true or positive and if question detection is equal to false if you don't have a question in this way it will reply so we have only generic replies like thank yous and so on so this is how i build the system it's that simple this is how you can use make easy really make is a powerful software for automations you can see how easily in a couple of minutes you can build these systems and sell it. Now, it's time for the special trick that I want to share with you that will help you turn this into a stable recurring income. Please focus on these couple of seconds. Here's another system I built with Make for automating content research. I shared with you this a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, if you look at this system, we have here something called a custom application a custom module i built inside make if you open it it will require an api key so what you can do is you can integrate your own modules your own custom applications inside make and use an api key so users so your clients need this key to access these systems so not all you are going to sell the system as it is maybe maybe for one time or set up for one time you can provide a special application that they require to subscribe to in order to use the system and here if you go more we have here custom apps you can use this section to create your own custom applications and sell access to this is a great way to lock or secure the systems the automations with your own applications and sell on a recurring basis. If you want to learn more about this technique and how I built this extract web content and the power of this application and get it for free, you can check out this video here. I hope you learned something new today. If yes, smash the like button. Don't forget, get the systems, the full guide, the details in the description below. See you later.